protracted cash scarcity across Nigeria has triggered concerns about its impact on the daily survival of citizens, especially small business owners and those who do the businesses with petty cash. Bank customers are faced with difficulties withdrawing cash while the point of sales POS operators experience imposed restrictions on daily withdrawal which affect customer charges. TV 360 correspondent Falashade Olushagun comes through parts of the federal capital territory Abuja and she files in the situation report. Here in Abuja, some banks are struggling to meet the demands for cash withdrawals as customers are confronted with the limited options potentially affecting their ability to carry out routine transactions and manage day-to-day -day expenses. The majority of the ATMs are not dispensing, leaving the customers disappointed while POS operators are also compelled to restrict the amount customers can withdraw at a time because of limited cash at their disposal. It's, a, it's actually affecting everything. The other day I went to the market, like twice, I went the first day, all the banks in that market, there was no cash to dispense. Then the next day I went back, and then even the one, the, the, the banks close by, the, there was still no cash. And then it, um, POS people now are now charging extra just to give you cash. Yeah, it was really terrible. Businesses lost, families suffered. You had to buy Naira, not in the case of buying dollar again. You had to buy Naira. And uh, we thought that should be over because some of us thought perhaps it was a strategy to curb some of the uh, envisaged uh, su political successes. But it has come to pass now. So why are we still here? But I've been in the bank. I, I was in the bank for, for about two hours. I couldn't get any cash, only for me to move to a POS post. And then uh, they are telling me 10,000 is now a 400 Naira. Uh, I don't really know what is causing all of these things, but I think it's putting us in a more critical situation as, a, as, as citizens of Nigeria and as people living in this country. From what is going on, federal government is trying to regularize cash, so we will adapt and cope by it. So the only constant thing in the world is changes. When changes occur, the masses will adopt and cope. In light of these challenges, Nigerians therefore call on the federal government to reevaluate strategies to enhance cash availability as a way to mitigate the impact of cash crisis on the economy and the citizens. It's really serious. Let them wake up. Let them be sensitive to the plights of the people. Leadership is nothing if you have no followers. So I don't even see any reason behind this uh, scarcity that is coming up again. I, I thought we've passed that uh, uh, some months back, but uh, it's surprising that it's coming back. So I think government, they just need to be sincere, to be transparent, and then to, uh, like Tamaya would say, to pity us. Had the World Bank Nigerian Development Updates. December 2023 edition. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Yemi Kandoso, said the prevailing cash scarcity was as a result of the poor implementation of Nera redesign policy, which had resulted in the ordering by some Nigerians. It is hoped that the CBN would do something urgent to relieve Nigerians the stress of cashing out their money in time. Christmas is just a few days away. From Abuja, Olushe Gunfala Shade reporting for TV360, Nigeria. Thank you.